Now, after we finish the rolling cuff for our neckline, I'm thinking about the tiny little cable pattern we will use. And here is our sketch again for our raglan top-down sweater. For the first time we make it very easy. I will use a tiny cable pattern here along the raglan slants and I will repeat this in front of the pullover and in the middle of the sleeves. I'm figuring out the numbers, the number of stitches we need for the patterns. So this pattern will be pearl 2, knit 2, pearl 2, knit 2 and so on. For the sleeves we have pearl 2, knit 2 and pearl 2. So we have six stitches for this little pattern. And we have a total of 14 stitches. So there are four stitches on every side and for the front side of our sweater we have 10 stitches on the sides. But don't forget the raglan seam. We need one stitch on each side for the raglan. So we start with our tiny pattern and with our increases. You know the magic loop, you pull out the needle cable on the opposite side of the needles. You may as well work with two circulars if you like two. I show this in one of the more recent sock videos. As we need two stitches for our raglan seam I go one stitch back and place my round marker. So that's the beginning of my round. Now we start with one increase, two raglan stitches and one increase. So immediately after our round marker and immediately before our two raglan stitches, we make one and knit it through the back loop. Make one before our first two stitches. Those will be our raglan cable stitches. Make one and knit it through the back loop. So there will be no holes. You may work it with holes as well, then knit it the usual way. So knit two together, keep them on the left needle and knit the first stitch again. Now slip them off the needle. And immediately after your two cable stitches, raglan stitches, make one and knit it through the back loop again. That was our first raglan increase, our first raglan cable. Now you continue with nine knit stitches, as we figured out before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now for our little pattern, purl two, cable two, knit two together, knit the first one again and slip them off the needle. Purl two, Knit two together, knit the first one again, slip them off the needle, purl two, and the third time knit two together, knit the first one again, and purl two. That's our front side cable pattern. Now continue with nine knit stitches. And just before the next marker, we do the next increase. Here we have the 
next marker placed correctly. And we make one, knit them through the back loop. And now the marker sits in the middle of those two stitches. We place the marker in front, always in front, immediately in front of the two cable stitches. Knit two together, knit the first one again and make one through the back loop. So you see I forgot to place the, the stitch marker here. That's no problem, I will place it in the next round. And now for the sleeve, you work three, you knit three stitches, purl two, knit two together, knit the first one again, purl two, and three knit stitches again. Here comes the next marker which we placed in the middle of those two, in between those two raglan stitches, but we always want to place it before those raglan stitches later on. So make one and knit through back loop, knit two together, knit the first one again, and make one immediately afterwards make one and knit through back loop. In the meantime I need to fix my magic loop and continue with make one. We didn't do that yet. And knit through back loop. Now we have the back side where we don't work any pattern. So you just knit all the way to the other stitch marker. You see we have four increases in every increase round. We have the next increase here, same as before. And then there is the last, the second sleeve, the last sleeve, yes, the second sleeve. Don't forget our little cable pattern. And we've done the first round. Now, you don't want to remember where you have to increase, so I make a list where I write down the rounds and we always increase alternating every third and every third round. So I write this down and I just cross them out whenever I did one round. So I always see where I have to increase and I don't have to remember this. Write it down up to round 68. You remember we calculated that. We need 68 rounds and with a different color I'm just crossing out the rounds I already worked. Well I thought I could do without the stitch markers but it's more clever to use them. And you know the trick with the magic loop, always on the opposite side of the needles you pull out the needle cable and you continue knitting. This round, next round without any increases, but I place my stitch markers back again. And the stitch markers are always placed immediately in front of our two raglan cable stitches. Don't forget about the pattern. So you have a few purl stitches. And you work the 
cable pattern in the middle and in the middle of the sleeves, in the front and in the middle of the sleeves, same way as you work the cable pattern, the raglan cable pattern. So you do the cable every alternating every third, second and third round. Just to make things easier. And here we are at the end of the round. I show you the increases once again. Here you see already this tiny cable. You don't need any additional needles for this. And now in front of the two raglan cable stitches, you make one and knit through the back loop. You knit two together, knit the first one again, and now slip the stitches off the needle. And immediately after, make one again and knit through the back loop. And continue with the front part of your sweater up to the small cable pattern in the middle. Maybe you noticed I placed the stitch marker in front of the additional stitch we made. I will replace it in the next round. So and here we have the cable again in our pattern. Purl two, knit two together, knit the first one again. Purl two, knit two together, knit the first one again, slip the stitches. Purl two, knit two together a third time, knit the first one again, and purl two. And then continue to the other stitch marker. So nothing difficult here. Run your, your list with the rounds. And here we have the next marker. So and now I wait until I work the make one and knit through the back loop and now I place the marker. The marker should sit immediately in front of the two raglan cable stitches. Knit those two together, knit the first one again, slip the stitches and make one immediately after. Knit through the back loop. And continue with the, sl the sleeve. Don't forget the tiny pattern in the middle, and so on and so forth. Fix your magic loop whenever you run out of stitches on your needles. So I think you got the idea. In the next video I will show you how to calculate your raglan cut sweater. One more increase here. You see my camera is quite blurry at the moment. I think it's going to die unfortunately. I will have a new one tomorrow. So. I hope I will have better videos tomorrow. Now please work 68 rounds with such increases for the next time. That's your homework, so to say. 
Hausaufgabe, as this would be in German, 68 rounds with increases every alternating every second and third round.